In this video, you'll learn how to connect a custom domain to your publication on Beehive. By default, you'll automatically receive a Beehive subdomain after you've added a publication name to your account. However, if you're subscribed to a grow, scale, or enterprise plan, you'll have the option to connect a custom domain. To get started, log into your Beehive account and go to Settings, Publication, and Domains. Now, before you can connect a custom domain, we have to verify that you actually own it. To do this, click on Add Custom Domain under Verify Domains and enter your custom domain. Here, we generally recommend you enter a subdomain for your custom domain. For example, adding www. before your domain or something like blog or news. Once you've entered your custom domain, click on Add Domain. Here, you'll see instructions on how to create a DNS record, which we'll use to help verify your ownership over the domain. Now, in a separate tab, Log into the domain host account for the domain and find the DNS records. Here you'll be creating a new DNS record by copying over the values that you saw on the Beehive page. Once you finish, make sure to save the new DNS record in your domain host account and go back to Beehive. From here, click on verify, and if everything was entered correctly, you'll see verified under the domain you just entered. If you wanna go back and add more subdomains, you can simply go back to verify domains and add as many as you like. If they have the same root domain, they'll automatically be verified as soon as you enter them without any additional work. For example, we recommend you add a mail subdomain for emails that you'll be sending out and www for your website, but either way, you can add as many subdomains as you'd like. After verifying your custom domains, now you have the option to select which ones you want to use for your website and email. If you scroll down, you'll see an option to select custom web domain. Here you can choose from a list of subdomains that you just verified. Once selected, click on configure domain and you'll be prompted once again to create a new DNS record. Similar to before, you want to go back to your domain host account and create a new record. Once you've copied over the values, you can go back to Beehive and press verify setup. And if all is correct, the domain will be verified and you'll see live appear under your web domain. It's important to note that it can take up to 24 hours for your new DNS record to be verified. So in the meantime, you might see the status of your domain, say verifying configuration instead of live. Now the process for setting up your email domain is almost identical to the web domain. Simply click on select custom email domain and choose from the dropdown options. In this case, we'll be selecting the mail subdomain that we created earlier. Once selected, click on configure domain. Here you'll be creating an additional three CNAME records, which you can once again access in your domain host DNS settings. So just go over and copy and paste these values. And once you're done, go back to Beehive and click on verify setup. Once verified, you'll once again see live appear under the domain you just set up. Now you can just update your email and type in anything you want in the text box. Now all of your newsletters will be sent from this email. Lastly, you'll have the option to set up a custom redirect domain. Or in more simple terms, we can help redirect one of your verified subdomains to the domain that you're currently using for your website. This can be helpful if you're using a www.subdomain and you want the non-ww version to work. In order to do this, you'll need to have the non-ww. version of your domain as a verified domain. After you do this, you can now click on select custom redirect domain and choose the domain that you've just added and click configure domain. Once again, you'll have to create a new DNS record in your domain host account. Just follow the instructions and copy and paste the values. And once you're done, go back to Beehive and click on verify setup and now you're all good to go. One important thing to note is you should not use any subdomain that starts with mail as your custom redirect. And if you want, you also have the option to set up this custom redirect with your DNS provider or your domain host. You'll just have to follow their documentation instead. That's it, follow for more tutorials.